Hi everyone, in today's Biblical Cities of the Holy Land video, we will take a look at the city of Beersheba. The site of Biblical Beersheba is located in the centre of the Biblical Negev. The city of Beersheba was considered during the Old Testament period as the traditional southern border of the lands controlled by the Israelites, along with the city of Dan in the north of Israel. This is seen in passages like Judges chapter 20 verse 1 where the statement from Dan even to Beersheba is mentioned for the first time. The city of Beersheba has a strong biblical and historical connection with the biblical patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. In fact, the name of the city means the well of the oath or the well of the seven which is a reference to an oath in Genesis chapter 21 verses 22 to 34 that Abraham made with the Philistine king of the nearby city of Gera named Abimelech after a dispute arose between the two over a well of water that Abraham's servants had dug. The issue was resolved peacefully after a covenant was made between the two men that involved the giving of seven ewe lambs to Abimelech by Abraham. The control of reliable water sources in the Negev during biblical times was extremely important for semi-nomadic pastoralists like Abraham, as the Beersheba region received only about 10 to 12 inches of rain a year during the winter and spring. And therefore, the control of a dependable source of water during the rest of the year was vital to sustain both the animals and the people who grazed their flocks in the region. Isaac, who also lived in the area of Bathsheba, then faced a similar dispute over wells of water with the neighbouring Philistines after the death of his favourite Abraham in Genesis chapter 26 verses 12 to 33. Jacob also lived at Beersheba before leaving for Syria according to Genesis chapter 28 verse 10 and later stopped at the site to make sacrifices to God before he and his entire family entered into Egypt in Genesis chapter 46 verses 1 to 5. There is therefore a clear and strong biblical connection with the city and the patriarchs. Furthermore, a possible extra-biblical reference to the founding of Beersheba back to Abraham appears to exist in an inscription that was found at the Temple of Amun in Karnak, Egypt, which was created by the Pharaoh Shoshank I after 925 BC. The Pharaoh lists a number of cities that he and his army captured while on campaign in and around Israel, around 925 BC. One particular inscription, which is Numbers 71 to 72 on the list, names the city of Beersheba as the enclosure or fort of Abram. This is interesting because the earlier name for Abraham is Abram. This inscription therefore helps to demonstrate that at the very least that there was a very well known and established earlier tradition and connection between a man called Abram and the city of Beersheba that very clearly existed at the end of the 10th century BC and presumably therefore existed well before that time and that was known as far afield as Egypt. In relation to this particular Egyptian military campaign, a devastating destruction layer has been found at the site of Beersheba, which has been dated to about the end of the 10th century BC, which also appears to help support the Egyptian claim that they conquered the city, as is claimed on the inscription found at the temple in Karnak. The city experienced several other major destructions and rebuilds during its history, though it appears to have been finally abandoned after its destruction by the Assyrians in 701 BC, though the site continued to be used as the location for a number of military forts until about the 7th to 8th century AD. The city of Beersheba was originally part of the tribal allotment of Simeon, as is seen in Joshua chapter 19 verse 2, which then became a part of Judah's inheritance according to Joshua chapter 15 verses 20 to 28. 
At the end of the judges period, it also appears that Beersheba was also a significant city in southern Israel, as the prophet and judge Samuel appoints both his sons, Joel and Abiah, as judges over Israel, and that they were based at Beersheba, according to 1 Samuel chapter 8 verses 1 to 2. Later, during the divided kingdom, the prophet Amos in Amos chapter 5 verse 5 and chapter 8 verse 14 criticizes the false worship that took place at the city. After this, Josiah king of Judah later removed the false priests that were found within the city and also defiled the high place that was located there, according to 2 Kings chapter 23 verse 8. The use of this city as a centre for false worship during the divided kingdom is clearly demonstrated by the discovery of the dismantled remains of a large stone horned altar within the city. This hewn stone altar, which such stone altars were actually forbidden in Deuteronomy chapter 27 verse 5, was apparently dismantled during the religious reforms of King Hezekiah and the stone was then reused in the building of a storehouse within the city. Full-scale excavations have taken place at Beersheba since 1969. The majority of the remains that can be seen at the site today date to the small 8th century BC Israelite town that measured less than 3 acres in size. Some notable finds discovered at the site include several examples of a four-room house which was a typical house design used by the Israelites after they entered Canaan and which was used by them for centuries afterwards, an 80 metre deep or 263 feet well which was found outside of the city gate which may have originally dated back to the time of the patriarchs, the remains of a 10th century BC defensive wall, two city gates with attached guard rooms, and a building that is thought to be a governor's residence. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more new videos every Friday.